Yeah, I have a community website. So it's me and lots of people from the community. I built a website a couple of years ago which allowed people to post problems, if they've got issues, if they just want to chat and just bond communities together because where I live, I live in a brand new area and there wasn't a community. So we built a website and there wasn't a pub as well. So uh, we built this website and a community grew out of it. And from there, we've, we've tried to tackle problems, we don't always succeed, but the community has grown from it. So what type of, um, you say it's a community website, do you get a range of ages like, contributing to your website or sending you their issues or problems? Yeah, well sadly it's mostly like say uh, 20 upwards, it's not young kids, but there's a lot of issues with, well, not with young kids, but kids have got issues in our area, some of it's run down, some of it's quite nice, so it'd be nice to get a lot more of like a youth involvement in it. Mm -hmm. But you do get a good range, you get moaners, whinges and people who want to do stuff, which is always good. Mm -hmm. And, so, oh sorry, and from there we just try and work it out and go forward. Alright, so is it you who certainly run the site or do you have a team? I, I put it together, um, it's open to anybody to, to come along, say from Thomas or North of Stoke and Trent, to come along and post stuff on there. Um, I edit it, I'm sure it probably says no words. And... <laughs> okay, so what kind of like... What's the content like of your website? What kind of uh, that's a good question. Most of it's information like um, the website started out from Neighbourhood Watch, so it was about crime alerts. So we put crime alerts on there, so people know what's going on in the area, what to watch out for. Then there's general things like um, neighbours warning neighbours of other issues going on. And then sometimes we run um, public events in there all the time, but we also just try and get the community involved in certain projects. So what was the last kind of community gathering project that you had? The last big one was uh, trying to save Thompson Hall, which was about a year, yeah, two years ago. Um, and from, from the website it grew quite a uh, big, not just my Thompson itself, but we, we got organised and tried to save the pool from council costs. So that didn't work, but yeah. you know, it's quite nice that from this side people got together. And do you have any events coming from the future then? Um, well, from the social media point of view, um, there is a tweet up coming up in the city, so um, we'll, uh, I think that person will be getting involved in that and going along to other people who are using these platforms. Um, I think that's on the 5th of February. It's been organised by the paper, the Evening Fentanyl. Um, but no, it's a very, very busy year. Like I said, um, huge amounts of people are using the web now to express themselves and talk to each other. So I imagine there'll be a lot going on over the year. Okay. So you mentioned Twitter. Do you use like other social networking sites like Facebook or Google Plus and um, property? Yeah, yeah. Facebook, Google yeah, Plus, Instagram, yeah. Pinterest. <laughs> like a... um, I mean, both of us tend to sort of try most of the new platforms that, that come on and, and see how they work. And Google Plus is become a more interesting community over the last year. Um, but what's significant now about Facebook, although it's not necessarily the prettiest platform, is it's got a huge amount of people on it and that's really what counts when it comes to social media. You know, it doesn't really matter if you've got um, you know what how it works or what it does if people are using it then that's all that counts. Um, so that's allowing huge amounts of people to mobilise and obviously it's been nice to watch that. I mean, we were both involved when there were probably just a few people talking to each other and to see it now, I mean, it's harder to keep track of. Um, but it's, it's an exciting time because it shows us what sort of power we've got really in the city. You know, we don't have to be in a big city anymore. We can access work here and we can, um, you know, galvanise stuff and really get involved in things. Okay. You kind of answered my next question, so I'm going to ask you, um, social media, social networking has this kind of negative um, look on sites that people aren't communicating properly rather than people just sell their computers to Well, yeah, there is one message is don't just lie, go and do stuff as well. Comment and, yeah, no, but people, people think that, especially this is what the young get criticised with, they think you're being antisocial because you're um, looking at the phone all the time, but in fact you're being very, very social, um, you're connecting with more people than you could possibly ever connect with if you didn't um, use that. And it does complement the offline world as well, you know, when me and Matt met through the sites, um, you know, I've met so many friends in Stoke through um, websites that we wouldn't otherwise have sort of met. Um, and you get to know each other, you get to know other people and interests and everything. So um, it is, um, I think it's extremely social. I do think the negativity is worn off a little bit. I think 
but people are just finding it useful now and it's no longer a thing. I used to be the person to try and sell people their stuff and you know, get the negativity, but now people just use it, it's just part of everyday life. Of course there's still people who want on it, but what you find now really is nearly all households are on it, so if, if uh, somebody's very old and isn't on it, the chances are there's somebody in, in you know, there's one generation who is on it and they're sharing with each other offline as well, so it's, um, it's changing very rapidly, I think. Okay. Yeah, and could you say your website for the program, any information on that? Um, website's mytons.kuk, Twitter's at mytonstore, Facebook's facebook.com slash mytonstore. <laughs>